have a new sous chef in our studio because main chef Arka is very busy watching um, something on the TV. And today I'll be making super quick and easy and incredibly delicious rock salt fish in the oven. Spiced, baked in the oven about 15-20 minutes and it's ready. If you have ever tried this fish, you know what is it about. It's a, like flat fish and it doesn't have too much meat, but whatever it has, it's so store. moist and it's so from Korean store. Yes, and I bought it, bought it from Korean store, Galeria supermarket. Um, they already cleaned it. I asked them not to cut the head because it looks more presentable with head, but ask them to cut the head. There is nothing to eat on the head. So the fish is clean. I also washed it about ingredients, spices. I'm gonna be using simple Himalayan salt, black pepper, red pepper, halepo pepper, spicy. You don't like it, leave it out. I forgot to bring garlic powder. You can use real garlic, just a small cloth to kind of rub it on the fish. A little bit of avocado oil, that's it, done. So I have this baking pan with parchment paper, oven preheated to 480 degrees. Let's get started. A little bit of oil so the fish doesn't stick. Right back? No. No. And I'm gonna start spicing it, seasoning it from the back. This is the back of the fish, the white part. It has barely any meat on this part. So we'll start from the back. You don't want to touch your spices and seasonings with your fishy hands. So, salt and pepper to taste. Don't put too much salt. This doesn't have way too much meat on it. Plus you can always add it when you're already enjoying it. So, salt, freshly ground black pepper. Mm -hmm. All fishes love black pepper. All of them. Mm -hmm. And again, I forgot to bring um, what was it? garlic powder. <laughs> and also, I'm thinking on the top crust, I'll do a little bit oregano, dry oregano. So let me bring the uh, powdered garlic if I find it. And I found it, luckily. He loves this spice. I'm hiding the spices from this particular chef because he's way too fond of spices. Mm -hmm. Oregano only on top crust. Slightly <laughs> spread the oil or you can spray any oil spray. Just like so. And I'm gonna lay down this fish nicely and quietly. And again, I forgot to wear my gloves. <laughs> I went and grabbed the gloves, washed my hands so I can rub it with glove and I forgot. It means it's not supposed to happen. Okay, again, I'll add the same spices and seasonings, which is halepo, a good amount, because this fish, this particular fish, loves halepo. I don't know why. What's what's wrong with this fish? <laughs> mm -hmm. No, it's just my preference, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Garlic. A little bit. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. Okay. Back to his owner. Mm -hmm. A little bit oregano and teeny weeny bit of uh, oil. Oh, I have avocado oil, any oil will work just as fine. And you can use your own teeth to open your own oregano. Nothing will happen. A little bit. It's just such an aromatic herb. And fishes love <laughs> aromatic herbs. 
as you may not know. This is like some avocado oil. Yes, it's avocado oil. You brought it. Uh, I brought it. And finally, not not forgetting my glove. Very important step. You wanna nicely rub all the spices and seasonings and your top coat. Mm -hmm. And the fish is asking for more halepo for some reason. I don't understand this fish. Mm -hmm. And if you want to put some um, herbs like tarragon or oregano inside this cavity part, it has very small cavity by the way. But still, let's put it. And even a little bit salt. So not bother. Because all fish love when you spice their cavities. Mm -hmm. So this is it. And one more important step. You want to nicely slush this fish. If you don't want to slush it nicely, it's up to you. But after it bakes, when it's nicely slushed, it will look so beautiful and so presentable. So you better not skip this uh, step. These diamonds will make that fish look like, I don't know, something, <laughs> something beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna bake this about 15 minutes, uncovered. If you wanna um, like more darker crust, you can raise the oven heat to 500, a few more minutes to make it nicely crusted. Mm. Easy peasy. <laughs> Perfect. I'll see you in 15 minutes. Oops. I baked it about 25 minutes. Last 10 minutes, I um, Higher the heat to 510 and slightly crisp, uh, crisp the top layer. Top layer? No, top. <laughs> the top. And this fish has to be eaten while it's still hot, nice and hot and crispy with a squeeze of lemon juice. But first we have to take the pictures and then I'll enjoy it. So beautiful. His channel and forever my channel. And the other day, okay. yeah, they was asking, Mom, so are you already done with your channel? I'm like, what do you mean you're done? So are you old enough to give up the channel for me? He wants to take over the channel. Mm -hmm. But I'm not ready yet, yeah. Erka. I still have to try this fish. Mama? You wanna try the fish, huh? No. Yeah. I hate fish. Yeah, he hates fish, he hates cheese. Okay, what? Tell me. You said mom. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too. And that big chunk of lemon. It's okay. It's gonna help me. <laughs> Get more lemon here. More, le more lemon here. And you stay here and learn, okay? Yeah. This is how you eat fish. Okay? Okay. When you're in the future, when you bake this fish, this is how you eat it. You blow first because it's too hot. Mm. Oh, too hot. Mm. And delicious. Mm. Aram, I'm talking to my husband. The first one we bought this, it was called Dower Soul. This one is it was called Rock Soul. Dower Soul was even better tasting, more tender. They look alike though, but this is good too. 
So this was it. Just quickly show you how scary are the bones. Bones, yes. Look. Ooh. Yes. Can I keep the bones? Yes, I'll give you the bones. You can keep them under your pillow. What? So Tooth Fairy brings you lots of <laughs> money, Arka. It's a yeah. new rule. Nowadays, Tooth Fairies oh. like eating some fish bones. Like? They like? Mm hmm yeah, they do. Can I get some? They... No, they don't. Uh. Okay, so basically you remove this just like so. And it's so easy. It doesn't have one of the, those uh, teeny weeny bones. Mm -hmm. Well, it may, Mom. Hajan? It may. It may, yeah. You should be careful when eating this yeah. scary fishy fish. Yeah, because... Mm -hmm. Bones. And more lemon, of course. A little yeah, bit of salt. Course. It needs some salt. Yeah. Black pepper. And that's it. This was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And there is no recipe for this thing. Try it and I hope you liked it. And be sure to subscribe mm -hmm. to my channel and also to this guy's yeah. channel, although he's not gonna be there very often. Um, subscribe to my channel, leave a link below and thumbs up all my videos. Okay, please be sure to leave the link below. They will leave the link. Yes. Okay, I'll check for the links and give it to you, okay? okay. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. You'll be here forever. Yeah. Mm. Some green salad will be great with this fish. You want to try a little bit of fish? Just no. Tea? You can't be a chef if you don't try things, Arka. Mom, I hate fish. Oh, okay. Unless you hate fish. <laughs>